Hello everyone. I'm Jun Yingfu from the HD Group. My group presentation will focus on the analysis of the case culture class in the broad room. According to the speeches of the characters in the case, we identify the key issues of this commercial case that are difference in motivation, high and low context difference, uncertainty avoidance, power distance, and ethical difference. First of all, the goal of the Germany head office is to abide by ethical regulations. While the Chongqing subsidiary pays more attention to the currently interest of the organization and achieving performance goal. Therefore, in terms of motivation, these two countries focus on different goals. Second, in business negotiation, people will entertain by playing golf. In the low context culture such as Germany, people will not think this behavior violates ethics. While in the high context culture such as China, such entertainment activity are regarded as bribery. Therefore, the conflict of whether people can play golf during business cooperation is caused by a difference between high and low context culture. Third, uncertainty avoidance is reflected in Allmont Germany head office. It's a company that attaches in safety facilities. They set a strict safety regulations because of their high avoidance of adverse results. But Chongqing subsidiary think this is very wasteful and useless behavior in operation. Fourth, George Ho, the financial director of the subsidiary, is very opposed to violations such as kickback, but he's afraid to oppose the idea of leaders. Because China is a country with a very obvious power distance, and George Ho is willing to talk about his idea with Mr. Liu, the CEO of the Chinese region. Because Mr. Liu is from the Germany, Germany is a democratic country, so there is basically no culture such as power distance. The last point is the ethical difference. Germany's Almond head office completely resists bribery and kickbacks. However, China has no clear code of ethics. Which stipulate that people cannot use such method to achieve cooperation in business activity. Therefore, the two countries face great differences in business ethics. Next, my group member will analyze the whole story by linking the case of the cross-cultural management theoretical concepts and provide a practical action plan. Let me introduce the difference of motivation problem. We will discuss whether they have a series of questions in their operation, including commercial bribery, whether safety equipment is necessary, and how to dispose of chemical waste materials. Then we must first divide this company into two parts. One side is the German management, which is represented by CEO Liu, who comes from the German head office. The other part is a Chinese investor re represented by Mr. Chen Dong. The Chinese investor pay more attention to the company's current profitability. In comparison, the German side pay more attention to allowing the subsidiary to develop its business smoothly and maintain the regular operation of the company. Therefore, their work motivation standard started to be different. For the Chinese investor to make as much money as possible from the company, they will use some legal defects for commercial bribery to help the company grow. Because their work motivation is to make more money, they will look for ways to save money at the operational level. They believe that high price and high quality recycling of chemical waste material is unnecessary. Also, they think that the company's safety equipment does not need to follow German standards. All of this is done to increase the company's profit. Due to the subsidiary's current revenue, only accounting for 3% of the volume of the German parent company, the almond head office pay more attention to the future share of the Chinese chemical market and the company's healthy development rather than to create profit right now. Because their company is multinational, they must consider whether it complies with local laws and regulation more. Furthermore, all of this subsidiary operation must be regularly compliant on a global scale. In this way, their difference in work motivation causes quarrel and disagreement.
this part, we'll talk about two main different problems. One is high and low context culture. The other one is uncertainty avoidance. The first one is the difference between high and low context culture. There is a basis for the very different views of Chinese and German companies on commercial bribery. First of all, to understand the background, the German criminal code usually allows the provision of help to business partners in the private sector to enhance the goodwill of business partners. As a result, a visit to the company or playing golf with business partner is usually socially acceptable. However, the OECD Anti-Bribery Convention clearly covers that payments paid directly or through intermediaries to ensure business advantages are a kind of indirect bribery. Different in Chinese culture, Chinese culture as a high context culture, which is also a collectivist culture, interpersonal relationship is very important. Family members or superior subordinate relationships are not enough for many types of business. Bonds of trust must be often be established between previously unrelated individuals. Under such basic cultural background, it is easy to understand why, in the opinions of Schumann, the commission is illegal and non-negotiable, while golf activity or organizing a company visit is acceptable. In his cultural understanding, an activity such as playing golf is a simple act of goodwill to business partners and is not illegal. But for Chinese people such as Liu, high context culture gives a different meaning to activity. This kind of behavior is widely used in China as kickbacks, as well as gain more benefits through a closer personal relationships. In a high context culture, many deals have been reached in private in the process of such activities, while a cultural background of collectivism makes people accustomed to these kind of activities. It is worth to mention that when Schumann, who comes from a low-context culture, communicates with Chen from a high-context culture, he does not realize the difference between this kind of business activities in China and in Germany, and he may just think it is just the expression of goodwill to his business partners. Another conflict creates bribery is that although the recommendations made by Chinese management are not considered commercial bribery in German laws and regulations, they are still associated with commercial bribery in Chinese social culture. So Liu insists on abandoning what they consider to be risky to avoid uncertainty. Then let's move on to German standards in China. The biggest problem for China and Germany in terms of safety issues and chemical waste disposal is uncertainty avoidance. Regarding uncertainty avoidance, China and Germany have different ideas. In Hofstadt's theory, China scored only 30 in uncertainty avoidance, while Germany scored 65. As a result, Germany has invested a lot of energy in uncertainty avoidance and formulated many regulations and rules to avoid uncertainty. Countries with high scores in uncertainty avoidance tend to regard uncertain and ambiguous situations as dangerous and try to prevent them from happening. In this case, Chen believes that it is unnecessary to invest so much money in safety equipment and waste treatment. Such investment is a waste of company's resources. But such safety measures are needed, and the company needs to be responsible for the safety of workers. As in the case, a factory where Liu worked years ago exploded and shut down for more than a month. That kind of bad news can be fatal for a company. In addition, chemical waste cleaning is also necessary. If the waste is not dealt with in a timely and effective manner, it will cause great damage to the environment and affect the company's reputation. Although the Chinese government does not require it, factories can be shut down if they are found to be causing damage to the surrounding environment. For example, for companies that do not meet the environmental requirements, all their pollutant discharge permit will be revoked, and their discharge performance rating will be cut to D, which would demand them to suspend production. If our company reduces investment in waste disposal, 
it is likely that the company will also face the risk of shutting down production. Almond's European standards was unacceptable to Chinese executives, who felt the investment was unaffordable. Also, these investments may make the operation of the branch in China face some difficulties. But with the help of the head office, it is strictly implemented in accordance with the German standards, and its manufacturing facilities are built to German standards. Almond is also a global company, not just Chinese. Therefore, the company's standards need to be formulated in accordance with German standards. It can help company to build a better reputation in China with its high-quality products and safe working environment. In the case study, the problem of power distance follows. It is related to the degree to which less powerful members of a national organization or institution expect and accept the uneven distribution of power. Uh, according to the Hofstadt Insights, while well, Germany score 35, joint decision-making power is relatively broad in the workplace, and directly and participatory communication style are common. China score 80 points in this category, indicating that China is a society that believes that inequality between people are acceptable. The relationship between subordinate and superior tend to be polarized. For example, in this case, the power distance between Wang Zhibao, vice president of Cell in Chongqing, led him to accuse Stanley Ho of endangering the company because he refused to meet customers' kickback demands. The contradiction in the case mainly lies in the loss of profits while the culture difference are reflected in different work motivations, cost considerations, and the definition of commercial bribery. To maintain high safety standard and waste disposal measures, customers can be invited to visit the subsidiary to learn about the company's high skill and high quality safety standards, highlights the advantage of the subsidiary and use quality to obtain word of mouth and orders instead of kickbacks. The joint venture can build a visiting base and establish nation how to show specific operational production process and offer customers some failure and situation caused by lower production and chemical waste treatment standards. Let customer have an interactive understanding of these consequences. A joint venture bring together leaders from high context culture and low context culture, which can be a significant source of misunderstanding due to variation in cultural value management. Can regularly talk to executives who hold different opinions in the company because Chinese workplace culture pays more attention to emotion and interpersonal relationships. So management can show their respect and listen to them through conversation and communication. Let them understand the, that Chinese enterprise pay more attention to long-term development and set more long-term indicators instead of temporary orders. On the issue of bribery, companies should resist commercial bribery, including direct bribery and potential bribery give more training to the management on ethical business behavior, invite senior executives from the head office to China or hold online meetings, show employees to the consequences of company that do not abide by business ethicals, stressing the reward and punishment system and make them deeply aware of series of ne negative effect on the company in the long run, such as losing a lot of profits due to cooperation or being driven out of the Chinese market by the government. There are some factors that may affect the implementation of the action plan, and possible ways to address these obstacles will be given. Mentioning high safety standards and waste deposit will lead to higher costs and may therefore be offset. Relevant training courses or shareholders meetings can be held to show that both China and Germany have long-term culture backgrounds. Hackers may reduce profit in the short term, but in the long run, it can enhance word of mouth 
and product quality and reduce acid risks. It's better for the company. Management can negotiate with the parent company to set an appropriate profit target for the development of the company. Determine whether the goal is achieved according to this profit target or growth growth target. Considering the countries with relatively obvious hierarchical system in the China workplace, power distance cannot be fundamentally changed, so anonymous suggestion boxes can be set up to collect feedback which solves the problem that employees do not dare to express their opinions because by power distance or the head office regularly sends personnel to monitor and listen to opinions which can well deal with the problems caused by the hierarchical system in the workplace. In China as a high context collectivism is a culture country, interpersonal relationships are very important which is difficult to change and making good use of interpersonal relationships without uh, violating business ethics can get twice the without with half the effort. Therefore, it's appropriate to give small gifts to roles such as a middleman that do not affect the interest of the company or accept orders provided by middlemen without affecting the quality of the company's products and operational efficiency. Preserve the benefits while mentioning the necessary business relationships. Thanks for watching.